Mmm, this is a mess in here. There's old tires and junk everywhere. Jeez, whole pile of old tires. <laughs> so we won't be doing much exploring in this one. It's uh, there's not a lot we can see through there. There's a dumping ground for old tires. This is just a bathroom area. Go around the front and see if there's a door open at the front. Great lack of light. Yeah, I really can't see much in these places. This is very tiny. No, I don't know what it is. It's not a, it's too small to be a house. Yeah, there's bits and pieces in here. Bit of a mess. Maybe it's all gathering things, maybe? Uh, it's part of a garage, it's just a like a side bit. This this side over here is a garage. So it's like a workshop on the side of a garage. Yeah, I know. Well, if they'd never been allowed to deteriorate in the first place, probably an old chook pen of some sort. No, there's still a couple. Yeah, I know. Again, another little garage. doesn't really matter. But yeah, they've been neglected for a long time, these buildings. Not a waste. Broken glass everywhere. Now this is just sort of the outhouse. There once was a laundry and toilet. I would say. Oh, toilet over this side. This one you cannot go anywhere. I'm amazed the toilet is still intact. What? That's usually one of the first things the idiots smash. Outside, yeah, outside dunnies were the thing in Australia. Yeah, you cannot go in from here. Yeah. You sure? Yeah, better not. Well, it's open. No, it's open. glass all over the floor. Okay, this would have been the kitchen. Still cabinets and stuff around. Yeah, there's still bits and pieces of people's lives around. The old <laughs> stove. Yeah, uh, pantry cupboard there. I wonder what dates the newspapers have got on them. <laughs> yeah, it'd be interesting to see. Lounge room, still a bit of furniture in here. October 7, October 7, 2001. Ah, 2001. That's surprising. Yeah, they've smashed in the front door. Bastards. Real little shits. Totally smashed the front door in. I can't leave anything alone. Still a light globe up there in the ceiling. So, you have to assume that these places were still inhabited but 2001. Hmm. Yeah. Horror on a carpety thing. Plastic. 
There have been bedrooms in here. This is panelling like uh, in the office. This would have been a child's bedroom, judging by the little strip of decoration around the edge there. And then we get to the dark rooms. Can't see in there. Yeah, you can see in this one a little bit. Still a bed in the corner there. That one's very dark. Yeah, let me go have a look. Wait, you're just blocking my camera. Well, they blocked them all up. Oh, still got a shower curtain in here. Still got a shower curtain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Windows all busted. Still got the shower curtain. And the mill area is just across the road there. Yeah, last time we were down here, these houses were still in pretty good condition. It's probably a couple of years ago now, but sad to see how quickly they have deteriorated. These are the houses, what would have been for the mill workers, I assume, management and that sort of thing. It's across the road from the mill and the old building we were looking at just now. We'll just have a wander around to see what the condition they're in. Again, the idiots have been in here wrecking things. Really is no future for these buildings. Ah, it's an old washing area that would have been a laundry at one time. Heating water. Yeah, there's a lot here. It was it was in way better condition last time I saw it. Is it? Yeah. All locked up. Yeah, they were locked up and secured last time I saw them. Yeah, they've all been opened up now. Really bad news. Yeah. Yep. Really bad news when these places start to get vandalised. One of the reasons I take this, hmm? I don't know, it was a while ago, but one of the reasons I take these videos is to record this before it all disappears. This will eventually all be demolished. It's not behaving itself. It's so dark. Yeah, it's fairly dark. Mm, let's hope the video, well it seems the video seems to be working better than my eyes. What is this 
Mm-hmm. Looks like a picture. Yeah, no. Sad. So sad. Yeah. Oh, can you imagine if they were nice and people could come in and stay? It's not that far. From Very dark rooms, so they're all boarded up, so. It's, it's not that far from people. Mm. No. Well, be careful now, you may fall. Yeah, I know. What a shocking waste. And should have nice should have a video light. <laughs> Unfortunately being boarded up. This Watch the beep. Hmm. No, it's all turned off, I guess. Yeah. Very difficult to see in these rooms. You can board it up. Fire alarm still up there. So lucky. Yeah. I'll watch these floors because they can sometimes be rotten. Yeah, instead of just renovating them and selling them to people. I mean, people is just really good. Yep, and they just let them turn into this state. Shocking. Someone's tried to patch the roof up there. I can't see there's much point in doing that when they're not going to bother looking after the buildings. Yeah. The remains of an old phone down there. That was the laundry in there. I had a look at that. Then there's a garage there. Mm, so shame. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't entirely sure. Whether these places were occupied last time because they all looked in good condition. And you think of what this property must be worth here. And again, people. Looks like they've been trying to get in here. That's been forced open. Someone's gone in there. Just an open garage. Nothing. Too special about that. Little shed over there, we'll go back and have a look at it in a minute. Yeah, windows smashed. Why on earth people just can't leave things alone? I do not know. There, uh, yep, yeah, this one's been breached as well. So probably all these houses have been breached. Lounge room there with a fireplace. Hoping the video is going to pick this up reasonably well. Not enough light to go exploring down here unfortunately. Just have a look at the areas we can see. I may come back in here later on. Oh, the sink and that's been pulled out and pulled down. Kitchen. Uh, gee. Hmm. 
I even have a fry pan down here on the floor. Remnants of days gone by. Pantry cupboard. Rubber, rubber gloves. Yeah. Wow. It's not nice anymore, but it would have been nice at one time. Yeah, there's still another house, isn't there? I wouldn't mind betting that that's been breached as well. That's what they always say, yeah, asbestos. And you get people lived here for 50 60 years without any problems this is a little shed or back back garden shed here yeah, still stuff in here hmm terrible shame to see these places end up like this Yes, asbestos is the catch-all excuse for destroying old buildings. Here we are back down at some of the houses near the sawmill. These ones are a little bit further along the road. May not have been subject to the attentions of vandals so much by the looks of them. Still boarded up, although the front porch there is not looking too crash hot. Ah uh, no. So much for that idea. You thought perhaps the vandals hadn't been to these ones yet. Wrong. Unfortunately. They all seem to have garages to put their cars in. Oh yep, yeah. yeah the back's been ripped off this as well. So <sighs> rather unfortunate. Another laundry. Toilet and bathroom, not a particularly flash one. An old bedroom, sleep out type room. Ah. Fluoro clubs in it. And it's been stripping the wood off the wall. Would have been the kitchen. 
cover job pulled out. Yeah, I did bring light this time. So you can actually see in the darker areas. Lovely old jar of floorboards in these places. Once upon a time, somebody's home. I lived here, I looked out that window. It was rather poignant to go into these places when they've been abandoned and imagine they were lived in. Families living in here.